Hello and welcome back to my channel. On one of my videos the other day, one of you guys actually commented saying, I have an exam question. It's a six mark question and it's all about social media and how it influences um, people's sense of place. There we go. Um, and I thought what would be helpful for me, because I don't really address this completely, is to go through what some points are that I might respond to that essay. Obviously, with this is only a six mark question, you only really need three points, I think. Um, that might be different for your example, but the example that I did. I think you needed three or four points for a six marker and so there are five here four or five um so obviously you don't need to use all these but i thought it might be helpful so if you do have any other exam questions i won't do these like day of um so if if there is something you need to give me at least a week to be able to do this but um i thought it might be useful so do leave them in the comments below um, on this video or on another video i do see all my comments i may not respond to them all but if I think I can be of use, I will respond. So yeah, I am going to be discussing. I've kind of written it into an exam question just so it's easier to like answer. So the exam question I have like formulated with this is how does social media influence someone's sense of place as a six mark question? So the points that I would use to discuss this, I'm just going to talk and you can take from this what you think might be useful. Um, it influences people's sense of place because it provides information about places and their characteristics. Social media can shape people's perception of a place before they even visit it. For example, if someone sees a lot of pictures of a beach on Instagram and the beach is consistently portrayed as beautiful, a tropical paradise, they may have a more positive image of that place in their mind. Point two. Social media can also influence people's experience of a place by providing a platform for them to share their own experience with others, as we see on Instagram. If someone posts about a great meal that they had at a restaurant in a particular city, their followers then may be more likely to go and visit that restaurant when they're in that city. So it's about um, ideals, point one, like opinions of a place. Um, the point two is people going and visiting those particular places when they go and visit a place. Point three, social media can also facilitate virtual connections with people in different places. We've seen this, this is exactly what this is, um, but then also you can make friends through being online. For example, if someone has a lot of friends on social media who live in a particular city, they may feel a stronger sense of connection to that place, even if they've never visited it in person. So I have quite a lot of friends that live on the Isle of Man. I do visit it quite a lot um, every summer, actually. Um, but I still have a connection to that place even when I'm not there because I have friends that live there and I talk to them. And I see on their Instagrams the places they're visiting on the Isle of Man and it's lovely. Um, so you can have a connection to a place even if you're not there. Slightly different in my sense. Um, but think about London, if you have a load of friends in London, you have a connection and a, a pull to that place um, because you know a load of people there. Point four, social media can also influence how people think of their own sense of place. For example, if someone sees a load of pictures of a place they've never been, they might start to feel like they're missing out and compare it to the place that they're own in that they are based in. So the city, the town you're living in, if you see someone else's city and see that as really like desirable, you then compare it to your own and your sense of your own place. So your own country, your own city, your own town, whatever it may be, may vary as a result of that. Um, as you have desires to visit other places, generally that lowers your, your like rating of your own place, if that makes sense. And then finally, the final point that I've come up with is that social media can influence how the way places social media can influence how people think about the way places are represented. For example, let me explain this. If someone sees a lot of pictures of a city that are all taken at the same angle, but they don't actually represent the diversity of the city, people may actually start to this is on the other side of the coin really, they may start to question the authenticity of the images and the way the city is being portrayed. Think about the city you live in. For me, I live in and around the city of Liverpool. The, place, the pictures that you see of Liverpool are down at the waterfront. You see the Liver Building, you see the docks, you see Liverpool One, you see the nice restaurants, you see the cathedrals. 
but actually that is not the entirety of the city of Liverpool. There is so much diversity within the city, um, so much culture, people of all different ethnic minorities and backgrounds and you just don't see that captured in the picture by the live building in front of the Beatles, like you just don't see it. Um, so that can alter the way people view a city. Cities are massively diverse places and often they're not captured in the tiny little Instagram picture that you see. So it's something to remember. So I hope this really short, quick video has been useful. As I said, we were discussing the question, how does someone's social media influence, how does, so, how does social media influence someone's sense of place as a sit smart question? So I hope these are useful. Do leave any more questions down below and I will try to do them for you. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this useful and I will see you soon. Bye guys.